taking a pregnancy test today because I have my histocelpenogram and I'm really hoping that it's positive because <laughs> um, yesterday I did my blood test but they won't tell me until today sometime hopefully if I am or not so that I don't have to go through with that test. Um, but I don't know, it's looking like not, <laughs> even though I just did it, you're supposed to wait like three minutes or so, but uh, I'm just so nervous. I really don't want to even do that. I'm scared it's going to hurt. So I just woke up <clears throat> and I had the craziest dream last night. I don't even know if it was just one long continuous dream or if it was little ones, but I keep having dreams lately that I'm pregnant, and I think that's because of all the infertility testing that we're doing, like the sperm analysis, um, my day three tests, and then yesterday my pregnancy test, the blood one, and now today my, um, my procedure. So I think it's just been weighing really heavily on my mind, which is why I've been having a lot of dreams about being pregnant and giving birth, but yesterday was kind of like... It, well, it wasn't kind of. It was a bummer. I had a dream that my doctor's office called me with the results from the pregnancy test that I took yesterday. And they said, well, I called because I took, a, I took a urine test in my dream and it was positive. So then I immediately called my doctor's office and they, they were trying to call me. And I was so excited because I wanted to talk to my doctor so that they can give me progesterone for this pregnancy. Because last pregnancy, they told me that they would in real life. <laughs> they told me that they wanted to put me on progesterone whenever I got pregnant again, just um, as like an added measure that everything would be going fine. And it, I mean, it doesn't hurt. So, um, so this time that's been weighing really heavily on my mind. And in my dream, I was trying to call my doctor, my original um, OBGYN that I had last time. And I was trying to get a hold of him, but I couldn't. And I was taking care of kids at like a daycare. Anyway, I finally got in contact with um, my infertility doctor, and they told me that, um, oh yeah, we have your results. It says that it's a positive, but we did more result, more tests on your blood and found out you have leukemia, which is super weird because I don't even, I don't know where that came from, honestly, but <clears throat> I was super bummed and crying in my dream. And it just, I don't know. I think it's kind of like my doubts. I don't think I have leukemia or anything like that. But I do think that my mind's trying to like get me ready to make sure that I can accept if something's wrong with this test. Hopefully nothing is wrong. I know I say hopefully a lot, but I obviously you don't want anything to be wrong with you. But I have... A little bit of work to do and then we're gonna go to the hospital around 1230 so that I can do my procedure Eddie was gonna come with me but um, he's working and I really didn't want him to take out of work if we're gonna end up going to the infertility doctor later on this month and then what if he doesn't have any more days left you know that kind of thing but Eddie's mom um, she's gonna be with me she's gonna take me home um, so that's the plan. So I went to Sephora um, over the weekend. I think it was on Friday. And I got a new beauty blender. I forgot to get the beauty blender soap because I was using like regular dish soap. And someone told me that I guess there is a difference between using the soap and the one that they give you. But I also, also got... Oh no. Let me get that out. Look at these babies. Look at how cute they are. And I got them just because they're cute. And I think they know that. I think Beauty Blender knows that if you make something mini, there's always going to be someone that's going to buy them. And I sure, I sure did. They come in two, and I don't remember how much they were, but they're supposed to be for around the eyes and um, like for contouring and stuff. So I used them. They're okay. I mean, I don't, they're basically just a smaller version of that. I don't know, but... Um, I wouldn't say I regret buying them because they're so cute, but 
can cute justify the price? Mmm, that's to be determined. I'm ready for the day, however my hair is not, I don't know what to do with it because it's got like a wave to it, but, I don't know, it's like knotty and I don't want to brush it out because if I brush it out it'll puff out and that's not cute. So I don't know what I'm going to do today. I sprayed some dry shampoo in it, not because it was greasy, but just because I like the way that it smells. So, I don't know. I don't want to put it in a ponytail because I always put it in a ponytail and I think I like it better down anyway. So, maybe I'll braid it if I can braid. I'm so horrible at hair. I don't know how to do hair for to save my life, basically. I was finishing up my hair and I get a call from Eddie. He's on break and he says that he wants to come with me. So, I guess he's going to take a half day and he's going to come, which is actually pretty great because... I was kind of bummed that he wasn't going to come with me since I was pretty nervous about this whole thing. And if he only uses half a day to come with me, that means he has another half day for when we go to the doctor's office. Or um, he's going to get another one, I think, soon. Pretty, it's pretty soon here, within the next couple weeks. So he'll be able to have another free day. So I got a call from Dr. Rana's office and I was super excited because I thought, you know what, this is it. They're going to tell me that I'm pregnant. Maybe I've been pregnant since November and the whole miscarriage thing was just a bad nightmare. But no, she said to continue, uh, the nurse said to continue going through with my procedure, which I have in like half an hour or so. So I'm still pretty nervous about that. But um, after I get that done, then I call back and I can make a consultation to go over the findings with Dr. Rana and see where we go for the treatment plan. But I'm still, hold, like, honestly, I'm still holding out that maybe there's, like, a, I didn't know I was pregnant scene, and I'm still pregnant. Dun, dun, dun! It's time, and I'm really scared. Any tips? I mean, I don't, I don't know what you have to go through. <laughs> hope that it's not that bad. It feels like... Okay, let me just tell you. I went inside and then they were like, okay, come scoot over, put on this gown, take off everything from your waist down. So I did that and I put on the gown and then she told me to scoot over like you're gonna get a like a pelvic exam, like a pap smear. You don't, you've never had one, obviously. But you scoot up by the end and then put your legs on the side. And then after that, uh, she told me that they're gonna put a speculum, that thing that I bought that looks like a duck, but that this one wasn't that big. <laughs> and it had lube on it and she put it in and it opened me up. And then she said, okay, now I'm gonna wash your cervix with soap and water. So she, <laughs> she washed my cervix with soap and water. And then she said, okay, now I'm gonna put this catheter, it's like a little tube, into your cervix, into your uterus. So she did that. And then she said, at the end of the, end of the tube, there's a balloon. And somebody had to call me, so I ruined the video. But they're gonna open the balloon so that they can see inside of there. And then they're gonna put some dye in it. And if I have blockages, then it'll unblock it, which is a really nice side effect. And then she did it and she told me, okay, now when everything's in you, roll this way and roll that way. So I rolled this way and I rolled that way. So she could take x-rays. And she said, she kept asking me, how are you doing? How are you doing? And I was saying, everything's fine. Everything's good. Even though it felt really crampy, what she said was gonna happen. And then she took all the x-rays and she said, okay, well, everything's fine. You don't have any blockages. Everything's clear and you're good to go. But I still felt cramping, it doesn't matter, but it still kind of hurts. But now that just doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's going on. I thought for sure there was gonna be some blockages that they were gonna have to push through and everything was gonna be a lot more complicated, but it wasn't. And so now we have to make an appointment with Dr. Rana sometime soon and figure out 
What's up? We got Salernos because I'm a big baby and I cried about it. Were you guys in Grandpa's garden? Did you go to Grandpa's garden? Did you go to Grandpa's garden? Because you smell like dirt. Did you go? Did you? Yes. <laughs> Did you go? Yes. Yes, you went. Didn't you? Didn't you go? Do you want it? Do you? <laughs> Do you want to eat something? <laughs> okay, wait, 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 Connie, wait. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Relax. Calm it down. Calm it down. Okay, sit. Okay, want to see something funny? Okay, boys, time for bed. Let's go. Time for bed. Time for bed. Well, if it was open, they would go in it, but it's not time for bed. I was just kidding. Say hi, Connie. Hello. 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 Well, I've just been sleeping pretty much. I took a really long nap and I've just been relaxing. I did watch a little bit of Teen Mom because it's kind of like a guilty pleasure of mine, but I think soon we're going to go to bed. Eddie's still playing his video game. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.